What's going on, you guys? Sorry for the angle. Let me move my phone over here. All right. Well, I recently went to Target and I picked up a WrestleMania themed type deck cards. That were only five bucks. Why not? Um, but I already opened it. But I'm gonna reveal what I got. I'm not that much of a card collector anymore. But I'm thinking I'm gonna start. Now this had a guaranteed Undertaker tribute card in here, which is pretty cool. So I'll show, we're going to stop from the top of the pile and make our way down. All right. Starting off with number one. The phenomenal one. AJ Styles or Mania card, which is pretty cool. And then a future mayor, possibly. Kane. When I say, oos, you say, oh. Jay Uso. Yeah, come on. A little tribute to Savior Breach there. Alicia Fox. And we got uh, John Cena uh, winning the WWE title for the first time at WrestleMania 21. John Cena tribute. There's also John Cena tribute cards in these decks. Then we got Royal Rumble, Dean Ambrose card. When he beat uh, Kevin Owens in a great last man standing matches. And then we got A.J. Styles. Then we got Roman and Bray Wyatt defeating the League of Nations. Then we got Seth freaking Rollins when he defeated Roman Reigns for the W title. And we all know Ambrose cash in and after. Which... I thought that was a great match all around. And we got New Day during their uh, long title run. And we got Roman and uh, Dean putting Brock through the announce table. Jericho, Jericho defeating AJ Styles with the walls of Jericho right there. I believe he beat him with the uh, Codebreaker in that match, if I remember correctly. Another AJ style card. We got Colisto. Then we got Triple H taking out Dean Ambrose with a pedigree. Haha. <laughs> Not WrestleMania 32. We got It's a Tonka card. Pretty awesome. Ah, oh, sadly, they're no longer in WWE anymore, but, well, one of them is, at least. The VOD Villains. I really enjoyed them. They were a great tag team. Rusev. Winning the United States title. And then we got the boss, Sasha Banks. Leading up to the Triple Threat match. And last is the Undertaker tribute card. It's a classic one. In fact, it's his WrestleMania debut. Two out of 40. Wow, that's pretty good. Well, those are my cards. Like I said, I'm not that much of a card collector anymore, but I'm picking it up again. Um, in my next video, I plan on doing my top five wrestlers, but it's going to be a total of 15. Five from Raw. Five from SmackDown and five from NXT. Tune in for the next video. Then, then, keep it real, guys.